Wow. That's what he's called. Who invited you, fat ass? Damn. What a I wow. feel I feel personally insulted. Oh, he tracked better than I expected. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure you can just do a clean angel dodge. Oh, you didn't buy it yet, though, eh? Nah. Oh no! Ruh row. Fuck! There's a shot wave after two. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Swing and run. Nah, I got it. All I have to do is never get hit again. Yep. Do they fall? Look at that concept with art. Hey, you have a taunt? Nope. There's no taunt button, is there? Nope. Hmm, I forgot that there's no taunt button. No need for a taunt button in a game in which originally the style was so easy to acquire. Uh, it was one of those worrying things from the demo. We always said, why is there no taunt? Why would Dante? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh my god, what a crazy, wacky hallway adventure. <laughs> I like that. I just seem to drag on forever. Church. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, I want to make a game called that. It's gonna be the it can, no. it'll be the sequel to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Yeah. Crazy wacky hallway adventure. Yeah. The recent attacks at Saint Agrius's church. He goes by the name of Dante. Remember his face, people. Women and children if brutally him, murdered by this hipster. The police immediately, but do not approach him. He has a history of physical violence and is a known sexual deviant. This is Bob Barbas, just doing God's work. We'll do it live, fuck it. It is astonishing. <laughs> Fucking how, thing how, sucks. How direct, it's like, live. He, how he's supposed to we'll look do it live. and sound and like, it's wild. And how subtle it is, it's so subtle, you know? Do I got some upgrades? Hell yeah. Let's get some angel upgrade. There we go. Get that angel of aid. I had the blissful pleasure of oh. introducing that clip to someone who had not seen oh, it. Oh, that's... For the oh, first time. That's great. Oh, it's one of my favorites of all time. Uh, you want to you wanna see the shittiest rainstorm ever? I mean... Yeah, you do. That is Devil May Cry 2, is what's happening there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is it like that? I don't know. I don't know. Like, straight up, why is it like what that? What we need Rainstorm to be is a floating, direct line, and this ends up being a, a pirouette. It's, it's fucking bad. Inverse Rainstorm, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually better. Uh, what do I want here? I have Angel all dodge. the moves with the- I got that. Oh. Got uh let's go for overdrive. You don't want your trillion stabs? That felt very, very obviously designed. Yeah, what's so this is better than a million. It's better than- it's even better than a million! It's so many stabs. But as you can see, he is clearly not stabbing him one trillion times. I was here years ago as a child. Why does the virility virility plant look like the old maple factory? factory. Uh, you know, like I just. I believe it's the source of the psychotropic ingredient. I don't know which one we're talking about. No, 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 not specifically. Just like, oh, go down to the old brewery. Oh yeah, the old yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's like you went. It's like if you went down to fucking Mountain Dew's factory and they built it was it on a, top a of this brick and cobblestone yeah. edifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
How do people actually fall for this crap? You were drinking it in an earlier cutscene. You literally you enough, you tend to believe it. were the one saying, what? What's wrong Tell with virility? It's great. Demons. Yeah. They Part of the reason why the this Dante too. rubs me the wrong way. Oh yeah, he got drugs. fucking... He was on drugs! Is that... He he's an idiot. He just... Oh no, wait, she was on drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, they Dawson. told him he was crazy, right? Was, he doesn't he elaborate on that or something? No, you're completely you wrong. wrong. What was what was the thing where he, it's like... She was, was on drugs. She was on drugs, she was yes. in a horrible nightmare yes. group home yes, with demons. Yes, she saved him, yeah. But like and him, it, it implies that she was like horribly most. abused inside. Yes, 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 but his childhood though. He had meningitis. Your eyes really do open up to evil everywhere. That's it. I took his dead, fought back, killed. Don't oh, that's... Consequences. I hate this... Yeah! Like baby Dante! What a baby! Anger, violence and death. All that ass. To dig deep. Good you thing I'm a demon! Oh yeah, this is shot. Still sane. Or if you can still call yourself... ...human. Just like Dio did. I just knew in my heart I wasn't crazy. Yeah, he... T there's a thing... I remember this, or him going like saying, they, they called me crazy, but I wasn't. Yeah. It's I, a I, fucking miasma floating around his dick at this point. Awful. And now we're in this uh, weird zone. Of STDs? Yes. <laughs> what that's you, correct. What you... And it's around, because he doesn't get sick because of the of the demon. Ah. Uh, and the angel or what have you. But there is no physical way to reach it from our world. Only from But yeah, this Dante's so it's like... It's glowing like a chart a shot. Inside. Kind of actually stupid. And that bugs me a lot. Well, the fact that he was like... Drinking virility before, and then Virgil's like, yo, that's just poison, and he's like, yeah, look at those sheep. Look at these idiot sheeple. The thing that That's- you that I've been- mm -hmm. something's been just yeah. picking at my mind. Yeah. This is sheeple the game. Wake up sheeple. Yes, Wake up sheeple the game. Years ago. I'm flying around in spirit form. Wake up yeah, to limbo. the demons <laughs> that are controlling you? <laughs> Put so, on the glasses! <laughs> it was triggered by the way, I've mentioned it a couple trauma. times during they this uh, thing. You wanna fuck- you ever seen nightmares. All of They Live? It's in the past. It's one of the weirdest fucking movies I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. He puts on the glasses and then Rowdy Roddy Piper just goes full, like, terrorism. And just starts shooting random people on the street. It's fucking wild. I mean... People would go nuts if that movie got released today. You know what it is? It's Hatred, the movie, but with a cool visual twist. Right, sure, sure. Or, like, falling down. It's, yeah, it's, it's fucking wild. Because it's like, if you were to take Rage Against the Machine at, at face value and be like, okay, let's do exactly what they tell us to do. They say, uh, take the power this back. Oh, uh, yes. Um, uh, while, uh, always Sweet. walk with the strap. Yeah, always. And, like, every um, day. And be a renegade of funk. Yeah, bigger. what does that mean? Um, That's someone well, unclear, Zach. Y y you know, just... <laughs> What's that then, just, I was just, just you know, <coughs> You can't understand how I could just kill a man, you know? Oh, you do. But what, did, what would this game's, like, my actual course of action be? As an average person? Limbo to escape your nightmares. Like, occupy Wall Street yes. so that we can slay the secret demons? If they can't get out of their offices, they'll be easier to kill! Like, I don't know, man. String them up and, and... See, here's the thing. I think you're... Drown them like witches so that I, we see if a I demon think, comes out? I think you're you giving to it too much credit. To <laughs> because... Pop your devil trigger, <laughs> demon! Because Pop it, I know you have one! Remember. See, this Stay is the alert. kind of thing... And once I've reached the mixing room... How do I put this? Let's, uh... Let's take Bioshock as an example, right? Well, as you played Bioshock, sure at least one of them, right? Both you play one, yeah, all of them. You played Bioshock one and two, right? All of them. They're about, and uh, they're about the dangers of rampant idealism, okay. either it's objectivism, uh, objectivism in the first one, or socialism in the second one. Idealist, I idealism carried to its final state, absolute extreme, right. and that's a side. core theme of it, right? So everything in the game is a reflection of that core theme, right? The core theme of DMC Devil May Cry is FUCK YOU DEMONS! Yeah. Ah! So like, whenever they try and go for... ...any societal... ...whatever... ...it's just Ooh, really... Obesity, stupidity. ...lame and surface and oh. tacky. Okay. And... You're right. Don't get it's me wrong. I fucking love... 
My the video room. game I'll theme of essentially fuck you, Dad. Pat, that's great. The core theme of Drink P5 is <laughs> rebellion against the man. The system is broken, and right. you need to fix it. But in do you desire emancipation? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, make sure you get it, but as long as society thinks it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not for uh. <laughs> I had that for. <laughs> Had that fucking chat. Make move make sure you now. do it in societally accepted traditional. I, like, dude, way. I had that talk the other P5's day. P5's themes are fucked up. She she just beat it and oh, she's like, really like, yeah, like so it's like, you know, you gotta you gotta sometimes you gotta tell society fuck off. I'm gonna do what's right no matter what. I'm gonna stick by my convictions and I'm gonna make sure that everybody finds out the truth and I'm gonna do it for me. But only if it's not disharmonious. Because in the end, when I decide to go against society, it's only so that I can free society and wake them up so that they join me and in the end, we are all harmonious again. And back to the real, pure state of society. Right? So, being disharmonious is only worth it if the end goal is, is to reharmonize. Oh man, it's fucking oh, wild. Oh, that, that game fucking what begins a fucking itself so trip. bad. What that's, a trip! That's not where I expect it. That is that is a very I can't believe it could go so hard on the concept of rebellion. What a what a truly Japanese game. And it's just so like deeply uncomfortable to not to be the nail that stands out, you know? And it's like it's just a different and I mean dude, we're similarly obsessed with independence. Well look at this. The the act like the Fucking Dante here is just all about like fuck you. You don't. Yeah. I won't do what you tell me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck you. I won't do what you told me. Fuck you. I won't do what you told me. I won't. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Fucking Zach De La Roca going in on it. It's it's really um. We are Westernly uh, in the West. We are obsessed with independence as well. And I mean. Uh, in Canada, less so. Now, granted, Ninja Theory is English, I believe. Yes. Which is, but the, a actually does feed into part of this game's aesthetic, which is the yeah. surveillance aesthetic, right? But, but you know, like, fucking drink a beer, fire your gun off, get a blowjob, fuck yeah. This is what our forefathers fought for. Against the demons! <laughs> is, a, is, you know, a core principle that, that, is, that enraptures itself into everything. What it's, if... The red coats were red because they were fucking devils. <laughs> but think about it. Um, all the money. <laughs> but like, I'm trying to think of, of the equivalent of like, uh, because it's it, it's like you have this weird moment in in. Did you see five, that? Yeah, I did. That was fucking goofy shit. He just ran right through. He didn't hurt at all. Um, like, I, I, I'm trying to think of, like, the, the pump fake in terms of, like, I guess joining the system to fight for independence from the lack of the system. <laughs> you know, what would the Western equivalent be of that? But yeah, because not to say that the, the, the shit we're obsessed with is, is you know any less ridiculous when you zoom out on it, but Persona 5's oh, version is the weirdest because it barks and preaches hard about the I did opposite. not expect for us to go through a P5 breakdown right now, that's it's, for sure. It's incredible. Oh, come on, bug buddy. There we go. Like, I do admit, you know, that like, I have a bit. I do have my habits of going oh Japan a whole lot. And, oh yeah, you know. And there's lots that are. This game is oh America, oh England, to Japan. That's that's where I was actually going. Like yeah, this yeah. game is totally that. Where I, it's like a foul mouth, fucking it is it's bang the and parody. smoker here. Like it's the absolute parody. And that's what I mean. Like this game's tone just like aged so bad. Like, it's so over the top. It's so edgy to be edgy. Because even Dante, in his big old 
like, cowboy ways, shows a little bit of respect for Nero by the end. Yeah. By having that little moment of, hey man, okay. Sure thing, kid. I w do w Take that sword. So that we can have a family reunion years later. No. It'll he be fucking dope. Man. And again, they goes, oh, you've got a good name. And then they have a little moment. Yeah. You know, because there's an ounce of respect when all the pretenses fall away. But, you know, yeah, this is this is Oh America, but it's not America. There's a bit later on. Well, I mean, the game's taking place in the U.S., right? But there's a bit later on uh, that... Virgil and Dante start, like, making fun of each other's fucking dicks. <laughs> like... <laughs> that, that's, that's where we'll, that, like... Uh, and it's done in that, and it's done in a, yeah, yeah, the really, like, uh, uh, deadpan, fucking, one-up the one-liner kind of way. Yeah. And it's just like, oh... Mm -hmm. Really? But then on the other side of that is Lucifer. Mm -hmm. The weapon Lucifer that Dante introduces yeah. while fucking the demon gate. I'm gonna fuck this door, everybody. Check it out. Ever you watch it's it? the only thing you're ever gonna see me fuck. And wasting time doing so as well as, as, as Sanctus fucking floats around in the background. And people get fucking killed. Okay, but I gotta, I gotta hump this gate, though. Gotta do it. Yeah, any, any, like, any, any of these ideal, idealisms taken to the extremes becomes parody of its fucking self. Um... And, and the part where I would, like, lambast this game for it, but not the original Devil May Cry, is that you always got the feeling in the original Devil May Cry that it was having fun with it. That it was like, ah? Uh, it was like it, liter literally nub nudging you in the yeah, ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas here, it is being taken fucking deadly serious for some reason. Because take the context of comedic, cocky hero ribbing and sh and shitting on the enemies, right? But then you take that in our context, and like, what does a badass, wisecracking hero sound like when he's a cool teenager? He from sounds like an unhappy person. Like, Dante, in this game, will occasionally crack a joke, but he is fucking miserable. He's, well, he sounds too cool for the room because, like, he's born too cool well, for the room. Yeah, because he is too cool. Wow, born too cool is actually pretty good. That's pretty- wait, what? Over here, too? Hmm, but which way? I wish there was just a goddamn thing that just told you, this is the right way, go the other way. Head towards the glowy glows. I don't want to. That was a little odd. Oh, there was just two ways to get over there. Yeah, this stage has multiple paths for no discernible purpose. You see that fucking... Clip of goddamn Jay Bauman from uh, the Nerdcast, where he goes, "Don't ask questions, just consume product, then get excited for new product." <laughs> that is, that podcast is amazing. So uh, I like that. I like. Sorry, that. the Nerd Crew. I like that statement. The Nerd Crew. You familiar with it? No. It's Red Letter Media's fake parody of essentially our podcast. Oh, okay. Or they're just covered in a movie and merch and just talking for 20 minutes about absolutely fucking nothing. So here you go, fight with each of the characters and their immunities. So this... But that... that message... Apparently I'm immune to that. In this mode. Yeah. Um... Whoa, wait. But yeah, the, that message fucking popping up mid-fight is just... I could have turned that off if I wanted. But I didn't want it. I wanted it to stay But what there. if you need tutorials, but you don't want them to interrupt you? Yeah, so... I don't know. 
Shut up, that's not possible. That airtime, by the way, like, any airtime challenges would have been, like, trivial. Nothing. Do I have the. Oh, I don't have it. That's why that keeps happening. Propeller? Nah. I don't have the the aerial rave version with Osiris. I need to get that. It goes higher, doesn't it? Yeah. I kept thinking I had it, but I didn't. By the way, apologies, uh, gang. My nose is a little nasally. Sorry, if my voice is a little nasally. Still coming off uh, quite si serious cold, but I feel good enough to tackle this bullshit anyway. You mean bad enough? No, I mean cruel enough. Dante would never be cruel. What is that awesome combo 120 that you get? I want, what is that actually? What does that break down into, I wonder? What do you mean? There's something you get points for that's just awesome combo. And uh, I don't know what it is. I'm paying attention to your report card. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Maybe it's just a, a raw number of hits? <sighs> so, yeah, here now, um... Like, at this point in time, we would have been introduced to, like, the first assaults. Yep. And you would have had, uh... Oh, look, there's the assault, right there. And the frosts. Or so. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like the demon and uh I feel like the demon and angel dodges are ways to trick the player into taking damage they don't need to take because they want the boost. Right. So that move right there, the demon dodge into the da da and then this. Well, probably the strongest damaging move in the game. God damn it. <laughs> what do you- what was wrong? They did let you turn it off, it is true. They it, yeah, it, they it did. It is true. They did, silly. Oh, look at that, he got hurt. That's what they're trying to tell me. It's like, even as fire and, and ice designs go, it's like... They're just the other designs on fire or on ice. Like, did it have to just be the most... Fuck you, Dante! You shit! Very threatening. I think... I was gonna say, what's the point of those spinning fucking things? Nothing. The point is, fuck you, Dante. That's it. I, they just told us. What is? Yeah, you gotta mash really hard on those. Yeah, you sure do. I remember, like, fucking hurting my finger. And anyway, like, I, I'm trying to think of the fact that, like, without going back to DMC, or, or even fucking Bayo and, and whatnot, like, I... <sighs> Ask your question, Brad. I'm trying to, I'm, because I'm trying to peg down the, lo the, the thing where it's like, the enemies are just not memorable at all, and, like... Oh, now I'm going that way. And I'll say that, like, the God of War games that I've played that mixing room? are, like, at least, well, I mean, the, the fucking first one. Like, there's a lot of, like, meh, okay, yeah, grunt, soldier, whatever, forgettable. But they got, well. the, they got the Greek hierarchy of the monsters and shit. Yeah, and you, you know, and then, and, and, um, the new one, you definitely are like, oh, I remember each of these individual enemies. Right? They Absolutely. all- they each individual enemy in the new one has, like, a thing that you're like, Okay, yeah, you have a- a cool design, you have an element, there's a style to the way you fight, there's a way to kill you that is, like, a fucking crazy execution, and, um, it just doesn't turn into, like, slash fodder. 
Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, I don't have a key for this one. Ah, oh, silly me. And I, and I feel like there's moments where you've gone through a couple of these phases where my eyes are just blurry and I'm just looking at you swinging. In, in my mind, they're It doesn't all, matter what you're swinging they're at. They're all just mannequins. Like, it doesn't matter what you're swinging at. You don't really have to, you know, like, okay, yeah, he's got the chainsaw attack. The other one is the big heavy fat guy. Um... But there's a lot, yeah, there's just a lot less going on with their, their patterns and their it's, designs. It's one of the game's glaring weaknesses, in my opinion. Ah, there we go. Osiris. Let's get, uh, where the fuck? Double up. That's it. Oh, I never used Streak. Sure enough. So it's... Where yeah, just yeah. Float, float, float. And then you do this, and then you're back in the same fucking spot. Forever. There I remember in the go, training room bastards. In, the, in that little training room too. I remember like uh -huh. fucking around and trying to like float for like a super long time. And yeah, with Osiris, it's actually quite easy. Yeah, the, you can clip out of the fucking stage. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, just yeah, hit the, yeah, hit the, yeah. uh, I remember in the demo, mm -hmm. I hit the fucking ceiling in the first room. Ew. Yeah, just to drive it home. Nasty. Can't believe these people drink That's that stuff. What you drink. Who could be so stupid? Yum. What? in the shitting hell is going on here? The mixing process. But it's the source we're interested in. I'm guessing our succubus is on the other end of that. Like, this entire this way, level being way. about soda is like the ultimate in Wake Up Sheeple. Oh, totally. Because we've spent 20 sure. minutes. Give me a minute. Be careful. With this being the point. I can't believe- oh my god. You know, the old games would be like... Just wasting more time on things like love for a sibling. How what? quaint. That is quaint. Oh, yeah. Uh, we- we did- we forgot to, uh, acknowledge the part in DMC4 where Kyrie's family adopted Nero. So not only are you getting the childhood friend trope, you're getting a little bit of the sister trope on Nichan in there as well. Yeah. So it, it, you know what? We did forget about that. So yeah. instead, let's let's give Nero the due that he deserves, in that he is not mother. He's sister. Uh, Onichan. Wouldn't it be Onichan? Well, it depends on who's saying it. Yeah, he'd be saying. If it. she's saying it. Yeah, it'd be Onichan. Yeah. Who do you think says it? I mean, if she's... I think it's Nero. If... Uh, yeah, you, that, it all works. It, it's, it's all fine. Is it? <laughs> but... Uh, is it? But it would be... It would be... Emoto, at that point. Oh, boy. My adopted childhood friend sister. That was a goddamn Biggest Loser reference. Did you see that? What it was? It says, which one of you fat asses wants to be Limbo's Biggest Loser? Uh, Catch that shit. Yeah. How very 2015. Oh. Okay. But yeah. Totally, 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 totally doing the family thing again. So no one, no, no seed of Sparta. Listen. Can fall too far from the tree. Apparently, there is nothing more wholesome than banging your family members in the Devil May Cry universe. It's. Oh, we just- we're just Gorbin, huh? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I guess we didn't- I didn't- I didn't know how that was gonna you get think explained. I give a shit? No, no, but... Alright, Gorbs it is. Oh, those shockwaves too, are fast. So, when I hit that vital star, then... I'm fucking might! <laughs> hit that vital star. 
Is it on the deep end? It's it's right. It's, it's quick. It's but it's a quick uh, pause thing, right? No, no, that's yeah, not it. Good items. Yeah, there's like a there's a quick thing for ah, it. Ah, they give you fucking six by now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Dante, look, look at you. You okay? That looked pretty nasty. That? Nah. That was just a big fat joke. Boo! Come on, let's go get this succubus. Slow walk for his punchline. Um. Yeah, and, uh, 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 <laughs> fucking, like, we were just giving Nero too much credit, man. Yeah, we gave him way too much credit. Way too much credit. He's, he's a, he's a Japanese fictional Catholic. Of course he's all fucked up and, and sick and shit. I grew up in the church and my sister's a nun. Gotta get in that. Good job, Nero. Oh, damn it. Cock and ball torture. <laughs>